We're going to ask Ben if he would come up. Uh, as we shared, we do have one to be baptized. We, with uh, not having communion, we thought we would do it at the end of the service. <laughs> He's come ready and prepared. Okay. Uh, so often we will not be as prepared as we think we are, but he, he, I believe he's prepared for this day. Uh, ben, come to me, as I said earlier, about a month and a half ago, and said he wanted to be baptized. I told him when the next opportunity for baptism was, and it was almost a look of disappointment, but he said, okay. <laughs> he said, okay. Uh, and we are so glad. I, Miss Amelia spoke with him earlier this week. And uh, I had spoke with him before, and as she spoke with him, I wanted to talk with him once again. Ben, you're how old? Uh, uh, Fourteen. You sure? Yes. Sir. <laughs> so, so he's 14 years old, and, uh, and I think that he, he's mature enough to make this decision. Amen. He understands this is not, this doesn't make him saved, but this is done because he's being saved. Amen. Amen. And uh, and you you are saved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ben shared at nine years old, he gave his heart to the Lord at a church of one of his friends in Prospect. Uh, and uh, we are so delighted that he's come to the point where he's ready to be baptized. So, uh, with this in mind, and you hearing him say that he is saved, uh, it would be in order that we exit our worship service and enter into a business session. Do we have such a motion? So why do I make this motion? We have a motion, a second. second. We have a second, Brother Gerald. Um, any discussion, concerns? Hearing none, seeing none. All, all in favor of extending the right? Well, wait a minute. All in favor of entering into a business session, uh, let it be known by saying I. Any opposed likewise? Motion has carried. So now it would be in order that we receive a motion to extend to Brother Ben <laughs> the right hand of fellowship into the ordinance of baptism. Second. We have a motion by Brother Gerald. I'll second. We have a second by Brother Marcus. Uh, any concerns? Hearing none, seeing none. All in favor? Let it be known by saying aye. aye. Any opposed likewise? Motion has carried. You go by hunt, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Yeah. Brother Ben Hunt, on behalf of Reedy Branch Baptist Church, it's my pleasure to extend to you the right hand of fellowship and to the ordinance of baptism this day. God bless you. Bless you. Aren't you excited? Yes. Aren't you excited? Uh, so now it would be in order that we, now that we've given him the right hand of fellowship into the ordinance of baptism, that we enter back into our worship service. So do we have such a motion to exit our business session and enter back into our worship? I'll take a motion we have a motion, my brother Roger. Second. We have a second, my brother Mike. Any thoughts, concerns, questions? None, hearing none, seeing none. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. aye. Any opposed, likewise. Motion is carried. So we're going to enter into the back to get ready for this baptism. But true church growth comes through baptism. When people get saved, they come to know the Lord as their Savior. And they want it to be known through the ordinance of baptism. That's when churches truly grow. The more baptisms we have in the run of a year, the more healthy we become and the more that we are growing, biblically growing. So we, are, we want to thank God for this opportunity. And, um, before we do enter into baptism, we ask Brother Marcus if he'll just stand and lead us in a word of prayer. Amen. 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 Come on down. Stand right in front here and face the congregation. Um, what I remember about Ben most is when he started coming, 
well, one thing, finding out who his father is. <laughs> but when he, when he started coming, Ben was probably seven, eight years old, maybe. Yeah, and uh, I would see this young, this, this little boy up in the uh, balcony. And what, what really caught my eye is when he would come down to shake my hand, he was dressed better than I was. <laughs> Uh, Miss Amelia said that when he started coming here, he went home and said, I've got to get more suits. I want to dress like the preacher. <laughs> so it wasn't long he was out dressing me. And, uh, we, uh, but, you know, things change. <laughs> As you get older, you become a teenager. He's dressing more like teenagers. And, uh, <laughs> but we are so glad that as many teenagers does, he hasn't left this place. And that he still sees this as being a place to be on Sunday morning. So we thank him for his, those who are raising him. Those who are uh, being the influence in his life that he needs. But we thank him most that he, he has received the Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior. And ben, is there anything you want to say? Um, I'd like to thank the church, mostly. Um, everybody that's been with me um, through this. Ben does have a lot of family here, and they're welcome to stand uh, if they want to see this or if they want to see the uh, screens. That's fine also, but you're welcome to stand as we uh, begin to take part in this baptism. You can sit down facing this way. In obedience to the command of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we baptize you this day, our brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I was talking with the preacher yesterday and he asked me how many we have been baptized and I told him one. He said filling the pool was worth one being baptized. And I'm glad this church feels that way. Amen. So we, at this time, Brother Ronald, as we are preparing to exit out of here, I think it's the, no it's not, that's next week. <laughs> that's next week. We're going to do things a little different. Uh, we're going to ask that we go out today singing. This is the last Sunday of this year. We want to enter into next week into the uh, sanctuary singing. So let's go out this week singing and praising God. <laughs> 